Hi, I'm Matt with Appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the dispensing system on this Whirlpool Swash clothing care system. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools before you begin this repair. A quarter inch nut driver and a T20 Torx driver. A defective dispensing system can present itself in a couple of different ways. The micro switch could fail, causing the unit not to start a cycle, or also your piercing pin could become plugged or broken, which would not allow the pod solution to be absorbed through the pump. So you'd find some solution left in the pod at the end of a cycle. To begin the repair, you're gonna first remove your back panel. To begin this repair, first thing we're gonna do is just remove the drawer. Set that off to the side. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and remove all the torque screws around the perimeter of the back panel. All right, now that you've got your screws removed, just go ahead and remove the back panel. With the back panel removed, we can now remove the top cover. To do so, just slide it back slightly. And lift up on the back side. And that's going to release your tabs that you have underneath here. And we're just going to set this to the side. Now that we have our top outer cover removed, we're going to go ahead and remove the top inner cover. Uh, it's held on by six quarter inch screws. Once the screws are removed, you can just lift the cover off and set it aside. Now that we've got our top cover removed, we can go ahead and gain access to our dispenser assembly. Uh, to remove it, we're going to first begin by opening the door just a little bit. That just releases the tension on the spring, kind of makes it a little bit easier to get in and out. Uh, go ahead and disconnect your two wires going to your micro switch. We're going to go ahead and disconnect our hose, just pulls right off. And we've got two quarter inch screws that we're gonna remove. Now this one here is a little bit hard to get to. I'm gonna have to kinda depress the clip back down. And once you get on it, it's going to kind of want to spring back up out at you. So you go ahead and open the door back up again. Slide it out. And your dispenser assembly is removed. Now we've got our new dispenser assembly. We're going to go ahead and install it. Uh, sometimes when they come, they're going to be kind of out of, out of whack. The it's not actually fit into the tracks here. So what you're going to want to do is from the underside, make sure, make sure that both of your plastic bars here are in place before you set it into position. And then once you got it, just go ahead and lock your two feet in from the front. Set it down. Before you put your screws in, just make sure your two little crossbars are basically in the, the slots. 
here on either side. Now you can go ahead and get your screw in on the opposite side of the micro switch. And then you go ahead and close the door. That'll bring this lever back. Install your other screw. Now you can open the door back up. It'll put your little injector nozzle out. Hook your hose up. And we've got our two power wires. So once you close the door, it'll kind of hold the switch in place. Go ahead and hook those up to the micro switch. Doesn't matter which order you put them in because you're just completing a circuit. And just double check, make sure your hose is fully seated. Now that's installed, we'll go ahead and put our metal cover back on. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our top metal cover. Uh, you wanna make sure that when you're setting it down, your screw holes all line up and you're not pinching this hose. If you have it flipped around, then your hose is just gonna get crimped when you put the metal cover back on. So you've got a little slot there that that hose has to go through. And you're gonna go ahead and reinstall your six quarter inch screws on the cover. Now we can put the top outer cover on. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our top cover. Set it in place and push it forward to lock your tabs. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the back panel. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our back panel. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall your eight Torx screws. Next, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drawer. And that's gonna complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.